Lynn, and this is Allie at the helm. And today we will be cash stuffing week four for February. So yeah, let's do this. All right, so today we will be cash stuffing $1,046. And I'm gonna get this out of the way. There we go. So go ahead and give this a count and we'll get stuffing. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 770, 790, 810, 830, 850, 860, 870, 880, 890, 900, 910, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1000, 1005, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. One thousand forty-six dollars. Here's our little stack we've got here. Get this set up, and then we'll get stuffing. And I wanted to let you guys know, I've been thinking about doing a plan, like meal plan with me and like grocery shop, just to like show you guys um, what I'm able to get for my grocery budget. So let me know in the comments below if that would be something that you guys would be interested in seeing. Just maybe give everyone a visual on what exactly we spend our money on and how far the grocery budget goes for us. Just a thought. Let us know. Let me know. And I think my camera just made a click. Let me double check. We are fine. I don't know why it's doing the click thing. But anyway, we're going to start here with our cash envelopes, which is in my wallet. And we're going to unstuff anything unspent from last week. All right, so in groceries, I think we just had a couple dollars. So one, two, really crisp ones, one, two dollars in groceries. And date night, we did go out to the movies and get some concessions, and then we did have a pizza, pizza night one night. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars left in date night. And I did spend the gas money, so nothing left in gas. So if you're new to the channel, I have an overage envelope. Anything unspent at the end of each week in these three categories goes into the overage, as well as any unexpected income. And then at the end of the month, my husband and I look at how much we were able to put into the overage, and then we reallocate the money um, how we'd like. So this week in um, left unspent in these three categories, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12, $12. So I'm going to set this to the side and then um, later on the stuffing, I'll put this in the overage envelope. So since we have these out, let's go ahead and stuff these. So first is groceries for 125 and I do that in 20s and a five. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. And a five. And my husband and I are taking advantage of a special offer that HelloFresh is doing. So this week, um, we already spent some of this money on our HelloFresh order. Um, and then the rest, which I think is like $43 remaining, will be for supplementing like um, fruits, vegetables, and vegan items that will be used in the recipes that we get from HelloFresh. So um, now again, in groceries, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 125, 125 in groceries. 
Next is date night, and we do $50 in date night, and we do $20, $40, $50. My 20s are trying to get away. So we have $20, $40, $50 in date nights. And that also just includes any um, going out to eat. So $50 in there. And then gas, lastly, for the cash envelopes is 21. So a 20 and a one. 21. So that's it for my wallet. And if you see me shaking at all, it's really cold in my office. <laughs> so I'm fine. <laughs> it's just a little chilly in this office. All right, so that's it for my wallet. All right, so next we're gonna do our bills. And my previous video before this one was unboxing my new purple envelope and then my new my new bills um, envelopes. So I decided that since I have so many bills <laughs> to put them in my larger um, metallic polka dot binder just to make it more fun. So today I'm just going to scoot these over. Okay. So today in mortgage we're going to put <laughs> we're going to put um, 353 so one, two, three, fifty, three hundred, three hundred. Get this added, and our mortgage payment is fourteen eleven thirty three, I think. So we rounded up to fourteen twelve. So let's get this added. And we are one month ahead on our bills. So everything being stuffed in this bills binder is for next month for March. That way at the beginning of the month we have everything we need for all of the bills. So now in mortgage we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now mortgage is fully funded, 14, 12. It like doesn't want to go in. There's so much cash. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> My goodness. There we go. So yeah, next week... Since it's a short um, final week of February, then um, all of this will go back to the bank. This almost this entire binder. Next is City, and as you can see, it is empty. I um, did have to pay City this last week, so now in City um, we're going to add 15. 10, 15. So 15 dollars going into City to start out. Um, City only gets spent every other month so we let this build up so this will be the start of the next two months next is electric we're adding 29 i think i just broke my nail yeah i totally just broke my nail fun times <laughs> um 20 25 what would i say 20 i got i got distracted my nails my nail just like okay whatever <laughs> um 25 26, 27, 28, 29. So my nails right now, okay, this is a backstory so that you're like, wow, that broke really easily. <laughs> so I, last year, got my nails done pretty much every two weeks. And it was, I got them done for like a year. And then this year when my husband and I were do, redoing our budget and everything, I decided I didn't want to spend as much money on my nails because it does cost quite a bit of money so I decided you know what this year until like our debt is paid off um or like at least like a larger chunk of like debt is paid off I'm just gonna stop getting my nails done unless it's for like a special occasion so I got my fake nails removed and it left my real nails very thin and brittle <laughs> so that's why 
That's why just picking up a piece of, uh, like a piece of money just broke my nail. <laughs> anyway, so um, electric, we added 29. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 111. So that is fully funded now for next month. Next is gas. We're going to add $10 to gas. Just a 10 spot. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40. And this is also fully funded. Next is Home Hero. Uh, $4 getting added to Home Hero. One, two, three, and four. So now in Home Hero, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is fully funded as well. And I do like a rolling week. So every Sunday is a new week for me. And for my bills, I do it on a four week schedule. So I just, I always stuff this, but within the first four weeks of every month, this is fully funded. Just to be sure that whether it's a four week month or a five week month, we will be able to afford our bills on our base income, um, pulling out um, once a week for four weeks. I hope that makes sense. Um, next is internet, we're adding 15. Uh, 10, five. So now in internet, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. Also fully funded. Next is AMC A-List. We're adding $12. And AMC A-List is a membership through AMC Theaters. And we, my husband and I love watching movies, love going to see movies. We just watched Uncharted um, that came out this week. So that was a lot of fun. That was part of the date night money that got spent at the concession stand. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was a fun adventure movie. It was based on a video game. I've never played the video game, but um, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, so AMC A-List, um, oh, like I was saying, the membership covers three movies per week, so 12 movies per month, and um, discounts on concessions. And my husband and I use it kind of as like a built-in date night. So yeah, uh, $12 got added. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. And 48 dollars is fully funded for two memberships. Next is cell phone, and we are adding $56 to cell phone. 50, 55, and 56. There we go. All right. So now in cell phone, I have 50, 100, 50, 200, 205, 10, 15, 21. 221 also fully funded. Gym membership is getting $5. So now in gym membership, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 in gym membership, which is fully funded now. Hulu Disney Plus, we are adding $6 today. So now in um, Hulu Disney Plus, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. $22 for a fully funded Hulu Disney Plus bill. Lastly, in the bills binder is $4 going towards Spotify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. And this should also be fully funded now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Perfect. Eleven dollars in Spotify, fully funded for that bill for March. So that's it for the bill binder. I love this binder, it's so pretty. Next, on to my new purple binder. Still breaking it in. So first is clothing. We're not adding anything to clothing, but clothing, I believe, just has $50 in it. Yep, $50 in clothing. And this is more, mostly for, like, clothing essentials. So, like, socks, undies, bras. Um, and then, of course, like, if we need a new pair of jeans or we need another sweater, we'll pull from here. Anything above and beyond, like, trendy or, like, more expensive um, items or accessories, um, I have to use my own money. So $50 in clothing. Household is getting 12. So 10, 11, and 12. So get that added. And I use household for like paper towels, toilet paper, air filters, kitchen gadgets, anything like that. And that now has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, $97 in household. Next is self-care. Self-care is getting $13. So 10. 11, 12, 13. So now in self-care, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. $57 in self-care. Next is my envelope. I'm not getting anything, but right now in my envelope, you have 18. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 dollars in my envelope. I didn't spend anything last week. Didn't go on any coffee dates with friends or anything. And James is my husband. He's not getting anything either this week, but he did spend some of this money last week. So now he has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. $69 in James's envelope. And that's it for my purple binder. All right, so lastly is my other sinking fun binder. I think I just knocked this. So first is car insurance getting $10 and I did mention in a previous video I just paid my car insurance so this will be for um, August payment because we paid six months at a time so now in car insurance we have 100 200 in the bank to 20 30 40 50 60 71 which is great we try to stuff um, the goal for this is 500 just to give us a buffer so we're already halfway through with that next is car maintenance we're not adding anything but it just um, we have two thousand dollars in the bank for any car maintenance needs which um, earlier this week when I was breaking my car was making like this slight grinding sound so I'm wondering if I need new brake pads um, or new rotors I guess we'll see because then the next day it wasn't really doing it so maybe it was just because it was super cold out that day so I might be dipping into this if I need to get new um, brake pads or something with my brakes next is pet care we're gonna add $17 to pet care so 10 15 16 17. This money is looking crazy up here. Okay. So add that to pet care. There we go. 
All right, so now in pet care, I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 480, 490, 500, 505, 510, 515, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. $522. I have four pets and this covers vet bills, food, treats, toys, anything having to do with my pets. Next is reduction in force, RIF, and we're adding $50 to that. And I have explained in, a pre in previous videos that reduction in force is a fund that my husband and I contribute towards for when he is temporarily laid off during the winter months. Um, due to the nature of his job, um, the workforce that he works in, about 70% of the workforce gets um, laid off during the winter months because it's just too cold for them to do their job. And so they do pull unemployment during that time, but um, it's not the same as a regular paycheck. So we have this fund to use as income to supplement that unemployment. So now in reduction of force, we have 1,000, 2,000 in the bank, 2,000, these are prop as well in the bank, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 560, 565, 566. So $2,566 in reduction in force. And like I said, we use this as income during the winter months. So right now we are pulling out of this quite often. And then once my husband goes back to work and is working anywhere between 50 and 80 hours a week um, in the warmer months, then um, this will get replenished for next winter. Next is Christmas. Christmas is getting $10, and this is for Christmas 2022. It's just a lot less stressful when you plan at the beginning of the year for the, the next Christmas. So now we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. $91 in Christmas. We normally try to spend around 500 for everyone, um, like a total of 500. Um, that might increase, we'll see, but um, right now our goal for Christmas is 500. Next is entertaining, which is getting $9 today. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Press that. All right, so now in entertaining, we have 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. $73 in entertaining. And we love entertaining. I can't wait for the warmer months to get here so we can entertain outside more. Next is gifts. Gifts is getting 13. And we did purchase the baby shower gift last week. And so this is depleted. Um, quite a bit, but you know, that's what these, these sinking funds are for. So 11, 12, 13. So now in gifts, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Ninety-four dollars in gifts. And now we are working towards gift for, um, my sister-in-law, um, so yeah, she's getting married at the end of March. So now we are building this back up to gift her and her new hubby a gift for their wedding. Next is home remodel, which doesn't have anything yet and we're not adding anything. New car is not getting anything added, but in new car we have 1,000, 2,000, 2,100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 15. 2,415. We're not needing a new car anytime soon, but um, we figured eventually we would like to um, bump this up so that when we are in need of, new, of a new car, then we are ready. All right, so my camera decided to stop filming, so I'm gonna, um, it stopped filming around here. So, okay, so next is special events. We're not adding anything to it. It is a new category for us, but in special events, we have 100, 20, 21, 22, 23. 
and this is for concerts, festivals, that sort of thing. And I will be getting a new envelope for that, but right now, 123. Next is vacation. And in vacation, we're adding 50. So now in vacation, we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 41, 42. So 142, and we did just purchase plane tickets for my husband to go to California for his sister's wedding. So now anything in vacation will be for spending money. And then anything that my husband doesn't spend while he is there, we'll just roll over, roll over for our next vacation. Next, we have a student loans. We're adding 50, no, 157, which should be the remainder of this here. Get this sorted. Just realized that you probably can't see what I'm doing. And this is super awkward. There we go. So now in student loans, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 620, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 650 in student loans. We did just make a $300 payment. So that's what we have in student loans. And lastly is overage, and that was what was left over from these three categories this last week. So I'm going to add this. I'm not going to count it. So it's um, somewhat a surprise. And then my husband and I at the end of the month will add up everything left over from these three categories throughout the whole month, as well as any additional income um, that was unexpected and then reallocate the money um, towards savings and debt. So I'm excited for that. So that is it for the cash stuffing. Thank you so much for coming by and watching my video. I truly appreciate it. Also, I woke up um, the other day, I can't remember if it was yesterday, um, but I hit 100 subscribers. So thank you so, so, so much for subscribing. Um, it means the world to me. And also everyone commenting has been so lovely. Everyone's so supportive. I love this community so much. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for all of the support. Um, until next time, I hope you have a great week and happy budgeting, and I'll see you later. Bye!